That's right, Lauren. There was two ways to be festive here in Connecticut tonight. I have my navy blue on when we were cheering on the Huskies. Got the green pants for St. Patrick's Day. Both of those big events drawing in big crowds that a lot of businesses haven't seen in a really long time. Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> Pour up some green beer and raise a glass to big St. Patrick's Day celebrations being back. St. Patrick's Day is my favorite day of the year, so it's really nice to be out with friends. To have people come in smiling, drinking, eating, having a good time, it's we haven't seen it in a while. It's nice. It's great. It's great for the brewery. It's great for the community. It's the first big party in years for five churches brewing in New Britain. Many tap rooms around the state had to close their doors because of the pandemic. So they're grateful to be able to welcome people in and celebrate the holiday. The owners and managers, we had to work behind bar because we were barely staying alive and it, it was a big struggle and uh, we're glad to be here. We're thankful for the community for supporting us. The restaurant industry also hit hard by COVID. Many are still trying to get back to where they were before 2020. We do have live music. You know, we used to have it seven days a week before COVID. Now we're at five days a week, getting back up to that seven again. Uh, hopefully for the summer, we'll, we'll get back to that. The Tipping Chair Tavern in Southington also happy to be packed with people ready to party once again. It's amazing. We, you know, really, you know, the last two years have been a little crazy, as everyone knows. So uh, to have this and have everybody really comfortable out and having a good time is, uh, is really cool for us. It's fantastic for business. It should be Irish uh, holiday every day. <laughs> and if St. Paddy's Day wasn't already enough to boost business, UConn fans were also out to watch the Huskies in March Madness. I'm very excited. UConn's going all the way. It's huge. I mean, UConn playing. We're in Connecticut. Everyone wants to see it. Uh, such a bummer. Not the outcome that any of us here in Connecticut wanted. My photojournalist Kevin behind the camera, he's a UConn alum, like so many people here in the state who are probably feeling just as distraught as he is. But these businesses do have the rest of the tournament to look forward to for a boost in business. Live in New Britain, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.